What is up guys? Welcome back to my movie channel. I know it's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. I've been really busy. A lot of things have happened with work and I'm working on a video project which I will be posting on uh, online this upcoming week so look forward to that. But anyway guys, I just wanted to give my quick review on Ready Player One. I just got out of the theater and let me just say this film has a lot of pop culture references from the 80s, a great soundtrack, it's just an 80s nostalgia feel, and I, I absolutely loved it, it was a fun time at the theater. Now, Ready Player One is directed by Steven Spielberg, he also produced the film, and let me just say, Steven Spielberg is the man, this guy can craft movies like no other. The thing about this film is that he takes you inside of this virtual world called the Oasis. And in the Oasis, people can go and basically live their lives in the virtual world instead of in reality. That is the whole premise of this film. So we have this character, his name's Wade. And what Wade loves to do is to go to the Oasis, escape from real life. This made me feel like today like present day, how a lot of us, we use media to escape from the real world. I know me, I use movies, I use music, occasionally every now and then games, but this film really hit the nail on the head with showing just how trapped we can get inside of these spaces, inside of these reality virtual spaces. And it can be kind of dangerous because we're not building true relationships. Now that is Wade's problem. Wade loves the Oasis. He has a harder time connecting with people on a real basis. Now, Wade in the film is played by Ty Sheridan, who I have never seen in a film before. But let me just say, this: his performance in this film is definitely going to open some eyes. And I think he will be a household name. Um... In, in the near future. Now, Wade is trying to do something that only one person can accomplish, and that is to retrieve all three keys that was left from the original creator of the Oasis, and whoever collects all three keys first will get the Easter egg that will unlock the ownership of the Oasis. So whoever gets this Easter egg will become the sole proprietor of the Oasis. And now, there there's these antagonists, obviously, they're called IOI, um, and the the head of IOI is actually played by Ben Mendelsohn. He does a fantastic job. Uh, he, every time I saw him on screen, it just reminded me so much of Rogue One, but um, and, and Krennic in Rogue One. But IOI is trying to also win the Easter egg, so that way they can become not the, because right now they're currently the number two company, they want to be the number one company when it comes to economy and literally being in charge of the biggest game in the world, that, that being the Oasis. So Wade and a couple of his friends that he meets along the way are trying to get this Easter egg, so that way the evil does not subside in the Oasis, which is IOI. So this film, honestly, is a lot of fun. There's action, there is comedy, there is so much 80s pop culture references. There's, I need to go and see it again to kind of point out other 80s pop culture references that maybe I didn't notice. But when I was in the theater, I noticed things from Back to the Future, King Kong, Godzilla, we got Halo, we have... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, um, we have references of dancing, there's, there's references all over, there's even like Beetlejuice, I saw Beetlejuice in a scene, so this film has a lot of pop culture, now, is it a good film other than the pop culture, yes it is, this film is very entertaining, I had, I was on the edge of my seat throughout the entire time and the thing is going into the 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 showing the movie i had a feeling that we weren't going to see a lot of the oasis and that's what i really wanted to see i wanted to see the oasis i wanted to see 
the virtual world that that was created in the Oasis. And let me tell you that the Oasis is in this movie more than the actual real world. And so it's it's really, really crazy. Especially, there's this one scene where it seems like they're in reality, but they're actually in the Oasis. You'll have to check it out for yourself in the movie. I don't want to give any spoilers away. But yes, the Oasis is very much a key part in this film. You will not be disappointed with how many references and how many cultural pop icons you will find in this film. Now, I absolutely adored this film. I truly feel like this film was everything that I was hoping and more. I got 80s nostalgia. I got action. I got comedy. I got beautiful visuals. I mean, visually, this film is stunning. And Steven Spielberg always puts his craft and his touch in every single film that he makes. And this film, no exception. It is so, so, so good. I urge you all to go out and see it. If not this weekend, very soon, please go see it. This film is fantastic and it deserves your money and it deserves your time. This film is about two, almost two and a half hours long, so kind of be ready for that. However, this is totally worth it. Guys, this is my review. These are my thoughts. But I want to know, most importantly, what are your thoughts on Ready Player One? Have you seen it? What type of pop culture icons did you like in this film? And did it make you more excited for things like Stranger Things and these other shows and films that bring in 80s references and and these pop culture phenomena? Anyway, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will be posting a lot more frequently. It has been very crazy. I mean, finals are coming up, so I I just need to start kind of getting on the grind of making videos. Also, I will be posting another review of the documentary, The Director and the Jedi, which I watched a few days ago. And I will leave my thoughts in that in another video, so stay tuned for that. Also, make sure you hit that like button for this video. Show me some love. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.